From a golden palace to a private zoo filled with Bengal tigers, the Sultan of Brunei has built himself an opulent life that many of us could only dream of. With a collection of over 7,000 cars, three private jets, and an entourage of over 100 people, this is one leader who truly knows how to live in luxury. But how did he become so wealthy? And what exactly does his extravagant lifestyle entail? Join us as we explore the incredible world of Sultan Hassanal Bolkiah and get a glimpse into the life of one of the world's richest and most extravagant leaders. Welcome to Beyond Richest, the place where you get a glimpse into the secret lives of the ultra-wealthy beyond your richest dream. Sultan Hassanal Bolkiah is like the big boss of Brunei, a tiny country with loads of oil wealth in Southeast Asia. He's been the Sultan since 1967, which is pretty impressive considering he was only 21 when he took the throne. He's got a seriously lavish lifestyle, with tons of fancy cars, private jets, and palaces. He's also a big deal in Brunei's politics and has overseen a lot of countries' growth and development. Some people criticize him for his policies on human rights and political freedom. But hey, this guy's still super rich and powerful, so he must be doing something right. Alright, let's dive into the juicy stuff about how this guy lives it up. First, let's talk about one of the world's most extravagant car collections owned by none other than the Sultan of Brunei. He's got a collection of about 7,000 cars that are worth over $5 billion. Can you imagine? He's got so many Rolls Royces, Ferraris, and Bentleys in this collection that is so hard to keep track. And get this, he owns two Ferrari Mythos, a car that never even went into production. Plus, he's got some really rare finds like a classic gray Lamborghini Miura. It's not the most expensive car in his collection, but it's definitely an antique. And let's not forget about his Rolls-Royce Phantom II, which is worth a whopping $14 million and was nicknamed the Star of India. Have you ever heard of a car being that expensive? Do you think the Sultan is obsessed with cars? I mean, back in the 90s, almost half of all Rolls Royces sold were bought by the Bolkiah family. But it doesn't stop there. The Sultan even has a gold-plated custom-made Rolls Royce, complete with an open roof and a platform for an umbrella. How luxurious is that? Picture yourself sitting in the back of a golden Rolls Royce and waving at your subjects. It sounds like something out of a fairy tale. Now, can you imagine having your own private jet? Well, the Sultan has not one, not two, but three private jets. He's got a Boeing 200, an Airbus A340-200, and the most impressive one on his fleet, a gold-plated Boeing 747-400. It's safe to say that this sultan is living the life of luxury. And get this, he even gave his daughter an Airbus A340 for her birthday. Having a dad who gives you a private jet as a present? Talk about being spoiled. The sultan of Brunei sure knows how to live in style. He spent a whopping $220 million turning his Boeing 747-400 into a floating palace. That's right. He transformed an airplane into a luxurious home in the sky. He spent $100 million just to purchase the plane, and then another $120 million to add all sorts of luxurious finishes to the interior. And let me tell you, it's impressive. Just take a look at the master bedroom, which is decorated in opulent gold with the Lee crystal accents. Even the bathroom has a golden sink. It's almost too extravagant to even comprehend. Now, if you thought the Sultan's golden Rolls Royce and private jets were impressive, wait until you hear about his actual golden palace. Istana Nurul Ayman is absolutely massive, and it's no surprise that it holds the Guinness World Record for the largest living residence of a head of state. This incredible palace is several times larger than Buckingham Palace, and it's located on the banks of the Brunei River, a few kilometers south of Brunei's capital. The palace is an awe-inspiring sight, with its pristine white buildings, golden domes, and minarets. Visitors to the nearby Persharan Damwon Park can't help but be drawn to the palace's curved roofs and massive golden dome. And the price tag for this opulent palace? Over $1.5 billion! 
Speaking of marble, the palace also boasts an indoor swimming pool lined with it. It's apparently the largest residential pool in the world and can hold up to 500,000 gallons of water. And if you're feeling a bit parched after a swim, no worries. There's a banquet hall that can accommodate up to 5,000 guests with a huge crystal chandelier that weighs over 3.5 tons. Not to mention, the palace has a total of 1,788 rooms, including 257 bathrooms, a mosque that can hold up to 1,500 worshippers, a 110-car garage, and even a stable that can house 200 polo ponies. Just imagine the upkeep cost for a place like that. It's not just the sheer size of the Istana Nurul Ayman that's impressive, it's also the amenities that come with it. Imagine having not just one swimming pool but five all to yourself. And if you're into horseback riding, the air-conditioned stable for Sultan Bulki's 200 polo horses is sure to impress. Not to mention, a helipad right on the palace grounds makes it easy to come and go as you please. And with 18 elevators, getting around the massive palace is a breeze. It's safe to say that living in Istana Nurul Ayman is like living in a small village. But instead of neighbors, you have luxury amenities at every turn. It seems like the Sultan loves to add a touch of extravagance to everything he owns, and his private zoo is no exception. He reportedly spent $10 million to create this special playground, where you can find about 30 Bengal tigers, falcons, flamingos, and even some talented cockatoos. The birds can apparently mimic other animals and even ride bicycles and play basketball. Talk about some impressive pets! Sultan Bolkiah's luxurious lifestyle isn't just limited to his impressive car collection, private jets, and grand palaces. He's also skilled in hosting guests in the most lavish style, including world leaders and even renowned athletes like Jack Nicklaus. The Sultan even commissioned Nicklaus to design a golf course for him at his Empire Hotel a five-star resort that boasts private beaches, lagoons, multiple pools, restaurants, and a championship golf course. But it's not cheap to stay here, with prices starting at $250 a night, and that's not even including all the other luxury experiences on offer. In addition, the Sultan doesn't hold back on indulging in the luxuries that life has to offer, and this includes his grooming habits. He definitely goes all out, and that seems like the Sultan has no problem with spending his wealth on the finer things in life. His barber charges a whopping $20,000 per haircut, and the Sultan flies him out first class from London every few weeks just for a trim. Moreover, the entire trip is completely paid for, from the flights and hotel to the meals, and he even receives a generous envelope of cash as payment. Talk about living the high life! Here's more, the Sultan likes to party in style, and he doesn't just do it in any regular club. When he's in London, he frequents a club called Tramp, where he reportedly spends over $60,000 per night. And that's just for drinks and entertainment. He also likes to host lavish parties at his place, where he invites guests like Prince Andrew and Michael Jackson. But of course, you can't have a party without some fancy food, and the Sultan knows how to do it right. He reportedly spent over $15,000 on a single dessert made of gold leaf and strawberries. That's one sweet way to spend your money. That's some next-level partying right there. And if you thought that was extravagant, wait till you hear about his wedding. Sultan Balki reportedly spent around $20 million on his wedding to his second wife, a former flight attendant. The wedding festivities lasted a week and featured performances by Whitney Houston and other famous artists. Guests were given gifts such as gold watches and jewelry, and even the cake was covered in gold leaf. It's safe to say that when it comes to throwing a party or a wedding, the Sultan of Brunei does not hold back. It's interesting to note that despite his many wives and children, the Sultan has managed to maintain a relatively private personal life. He's known to be a devout Muslim and respected leader in the international Islamic community. He's also been active in philanthropy, donating millions of dollars to various charitable causes. The Sultan's wealth and extravagant lifestyle have certainly earned him some criticism over the years, but there's no denying that he's left his mark on history as one of the world's most unique and fascinating monarchs.
Well, it's true that Crown Prince Almatadi Bila bin Hassanal Bolkia, the eldest son of Sultan Hassanal Bolkia and his wife Queen Saleha, is poised to become extremely wealthy. He's said to inherit his father's vast fortune and rule over Brunei as a 30th Sultan. However, it's also worth noting that the current Sultan has taken steps to diversify Brunei's economy and reduce its reliance on oil. So there may still be plenty of wealth to go around when the crown prince ascends to the throne. It's crazy to think that a single person could spend that much money in such a short amount of time. But Prince Jeffrey definitely managed it. It's no surprise that the royal family had to sell off some of his extravagant purchases to pay back his debts. With all that money spent, it's a wonder how he even managed to get away with it for so long. But hey, I guess when you're a prince, sometimes the rules don't apply to you. Indeed, the Sultan's love for luxury and excess is undeniable, and it's reflected in everything he owns, from his cars and jets to his palace and private zoo. While his spending may seem excessive to some, he continues to live life on his own terms with a massive entourage and all the trappings of royalty. Despite his wealth and lavish lifestyle, the Sultan also faces financial challenges, as seen with his brother's extravagant spending and subsequent debt. However, for the Sultan of Brunei, it seems that money is no object, and he will continue to live his life in the lap of luxury. What do you think about the Sultan's extravagant spending habits? Do you think it's okay for a leader to live such a lavish lifestyle or do you think they should set an example of more modest living? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to stay updated on more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Keep watching our videos and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.